right? This is why I talk about things like the ginseng. This is why I talk about the intermittent fasting protocols and the blue blocking and the, especially the full body relaxation and uh, exercise. You need to rest properly and nourish yourself in tandem with that rest so that you can build your energetic reserve so that then you can have a surplus of energy that you can use to funnel into your sorcery and your non-ordinary acts of magic. You see what I'm saying? We live in the devil's playground, you guys. There is a malevolent force here that has hijacked the evolution of the human genome and the biosphere in general. What we look at or what we think, what we think ordinary uh, reality is, is not ordinary. See, the world doesn't work the way we've been programmed to think that it does. This, this world with all these freeways and the the hustle and bustle, nine to five work, the grind, all this crap. This is not what we were intended to live. This isn't how this biosphere was engineered to, to operate. Again, you guys, in its energetic or evolutionary apex or pinnacle, this, this world is a, a shamanic kingdom. All these plants that you see behind me are sentient. They feel, they're aware. When I walk by a plant, you guys, it knows I'm there. It knows that I'm around it. You see what I'm saying? We've been led to think that plants aren't sentient. We've been given so many definitions of what the world is and we've accepted them for so long that they've become a, like a, almost like a, um, we, we, it's become our dialogue script of how we interpret reality. I always talk about how if you want to change your life, you've got to change your definitions of not only yourself, but the world. And for that, you need silence inner silence, right? You've got to quiet your habituated programmed mind that operates in a chaotic fashion. You've got to quiet it long enough so that you can see the errors in your own cognitive, uh, in your own cognition. No one seeks silence here. Some of us do, but most of us don't. And it's true. You want a, a good observation of the lack of silence? Well, open your fucking front door. Depending on where you live, there's going to be movement the second that damn sun comes up. Cars are going to start driving down the road. Horns are going to honk. You're going to hear people yelling. The movement of the matrix is nauseating. You can directly experience the acquisition of your lost power. Your senses will open up and you'll be able to understand more of what the matrix is trying to convince you and hoodwink you into doing so that you lose your soul as a byproduct. Catch my drift? It's called participation. You don't have to participate with this nonsense. And you can get to the point where you've established a state of health that's beyond what the system's norm of health is. I'm talking about power. I'm talking about ether. I'm talking about fire. Kundalini, folks. This is what they want to stop. Don't you see that? Aren't you paying attention? I hope so. Or are you like millions of these lost souls that are on the earth plantation as slaves? This is a broken system and it's designed this way intentionally. This is a test. Do you not see that? Your heart is being weighed on the scales of my aunt. Do you not see that? Do you not sense it? Do you not feel it deep within your bones, within your blood? Do you not have a genetic memory of this? You know. You're a lot more aware of what's going on than you give yourself credit for, but you've lulled yourself into a state of slumber. And your day-to-day -day consciousness now resembles a deep, unconscious sleep. There's no lucidity. Getting healthy requires you to become lucid. It takes action. Lucidity requires action because once you become lucid to the truth, you now have, you're at a fork in the road, aren't you? You either keep going down the current or you swim up current. Swimming up current takes effort. Build your muscles though. You see the easy path is for the sheep. They're floating down the river. All this nonsense guys, it's subtle poison. Subtle fucking poison. They're modifying our genetics, they're changing the way our body works, and they're giving us a massive inundation of smart devices that make our life convenient. But these smart devices, as they evolve, you guys, they get more and more weaponized. And before you know it, 
Everything on your phone will be able to be implanted into you, and I know that sounds very science fiction, but that's the future, you guys. That's what all the big wigs are talking about. That is the aspirations of these insane fucking oligarchs that are running the show from behind the scenes. This is a, this is insanity. This is absolute insanity, and I have no more patience for the sheep. These people are destined, wired, whatever you want to call it, for their own destruction. They participate with it, and they love it. And they will fight, kick, and scream to defend the status quo. Thank you.